A commemoration ceremony is held outside the main station in Ankara in remembrance of the victims of Saturday's suicide bombings. Officially, the number of dead is put at nearly 100. Unofficially, it's as many as 128. ISIL militants are being blamed, but ahead of November elections, there's also anger at the Turkish government. The ruling AK party has responded by modifying its electioneering. The AK party has suspended its rallies. Our chairman and prime minister will not hold a rally until Friday. And the rallies after Friday will not be organized as electoral rallies, but they will be rallies against terrorism, aiming to cement brotherhood and unity. Opponents of the government, and in particular President Recep Tayyip Erdogan, blame him for the attack, accusing the state of intelligence failings and of stirring up nationalist anti-Kurdish sentiment. The leader of the pro-Kurdish opposition HDP says he's considering cancelling election rallies. How can we hold rallies in such a sad atmosphere? We can take our own security measures, but the life of a person is more important than an election rally. In predominantly Kurdish Diyarbakir, there's been more unrest. Saturday's attack targeted a pro-Kurdish rally and tensions in the region remain high.